Pyramid of Giza and the Sphinx is one of the least in the wonders of the world. It was located in Egypt, and this structure was built a thousand years ago by the ancient Egypt. And my right side is showing the picture of the map of the ancient Egypt. It's showing the major cities and the archaeology along the River Nile, which is the longest river in the world. Hello, I'm Eman, and my presentation today is about ancient Egypt's major contribution on science and technology. First, we have architecture. Ancient Egyptian architecture is very unique, and one of the best known examples are the Egyptian pyramid. And here is a few other examples. Other structure is very known in the Egypt, which is built by the ancient Egyptian which is the Pyramids of Giza, the Great Sphinx of Giza, and the Valley of the Kings. The ancient Egyptian has the biggest influence on the modern architecture nowadays. And scientists still wonder how ancient Egyptian built those structures. Besides that, ancient Egyptian also have a huge contribution in making the earliest paper, which is known as the papyrus sheet. This paper was over 3,000 years and it was made from papyrus plant. This is very important to ancient Egyptian because it used for the production of books in form of roll or scroll and also for correspondence and legal documents. Next, we have the Black Ink. Around 3200 BC, ancient Egyptian began writing with ink which is made from burning wood or oil and mixing it, the resulting caucasian with water. This black ink is very important in ancient Egyptian and it's used for writing the letters of the hieroglyphics. They also have a huge contribution in making calendar and clocks. The Egyptian device, the solar calendar by re recording the yearly reappearance of Sirius, also known as Dog Star, in the eastern sky. This calendar was based on a year of 365 days with 12 months and 3 seasons, and each month have a total of 30 days. And around 3500 BCE, before Common Era, the Egyptians used the shadows, the giant stone known as Oblix built on the ground to tell the time of the day. Later on, around 1500 BCE, the first portable timepiece were invented. Surgical instrument. Ancient Egyptians invented medical surgery. They described 46 surgical cases of injury which include head, neck, shoulders, breast, and chest. It also included a list of instruments which was used during these surgeries. They practiced medicine with highly professional methods. They had advanced knowledge of anatomy and surgery that related to dental, gynecological, gastrointestinal, and urinary disorders. The ancient Egypt also had a contribution in making the first toothpaste. Early as 1500 BC, the Egyptian invented a toothpaste-like mixture to clean their oral cavity. This toothpaste was used for whitened teeth, fresh and bread, and clean teeth and gums. Their main ingredient of the, their toothpaste was rock salt, dry iris flour, pepper, and mints, which is crushed into a fine paste with a bit of butter. Last but not least, we have mummification. The Egyptian was so expert at preserving the bodies of the dead. It was very important to them because it could help the dead have a nice life in the underworld. This process led to the ancient Egyptian having an understanding about anatomy. In the modern world, which is now, the ancient mummies provide a wealth of information about the health of early civilization, which may help better understanding to treat disease today. This is the source that I use while doing this presentation. And that's all. Thank you.